Hello, Holy Cross community. This is Father Erasmus once again reaching out to you. Uh, and it is on uh, the eve of the feast of St. Constantine and Helen. And I send my greetings out to our neighboring uh, parish cathedral here in, in Brooklyn. Uh, and we pray all the best uh, for the Church of St. Constantine and Helen and all those who serve there. And as we stand on the feast, on the, on the eve of the feast of these two great um, figures of the fourth century, we uh, have to really acknowledge uh, that the church has been changed because of these two. And we see St. Constantine of the Great, uh, who is uh, emperor of the Roman Empire, and um, sometimes we think of that is the Byzantine Empire, but it's the Roman Empire, and Constantine himself, as a, a pagan, eventually uh, discovers Christ through his mom, um, Helen, uh, a pious woman who had discovered Christ because of the great example of Christians uh, of that day. And mom, Helen, uh, led her son to believe in Christ, also with the vision that St. Constantine had uh, in the sky, in which he saw the cross in the sky and the words, Entuto Nica, and with this, conquer. And with that, St. Constantine went and was, con was able to conquer opposing um, armies and eventually become, once again, the sole emperor of the uh, empire. So St. Constantine and Helen uh, changed the world as we know. St. Constantine uh, allows Christianity to become legal with the Edict of Milan and once uh, and therefore uh, Christianity is not persecuted anymore. St. Constantine the Great is the one who called together the three uh, the 318 Holy Fathers um, who met in Nicaea and who established the, the creed as we know it, and also um, declared that Jesus Christ indeed is uh, the Lord and God. And also is St. Constant, Constantine who moved the capital from Old Rome uh, to the New Rome, and the city eventually of Byzantium was named after him, and was called Constantinople, and, uh, and tried to establish the laws of the land to reflect uh, the laws of God, the same way David in the Old Testament time did. St. Helen uh, was the one who found the holy and precious cross, the one who found the tomb of Jesus Christ, and is the one uh, who established the first churches, the Holy Sepulchre, or the Church of the Resurrection as we call it, and other holy uh, churches in the Holy Land and throughout the uh, world of those days. So though Pharaoh, um, as we said, as I said before, the, the church as we know it was not the same anymore at this time. And because of these two figures, the, uh, our church was raised to a new level. As we stand now in the year 2022, I, I have some thoughts about St. Constantine and Helen. First of all, is that our society, which was based on the Christian principles, starting with St. Constantine, uh, the great uh, how our society is uh, once again returning to paganism, to anti-Christian culture, um, and to ideas that are against what we believe as, as Christ. But St. Constantine and Helen established, um, we see that it is being persecuted and being changed. We see also how Helen and, and, uh, was converted because of the faith of Christians and how um, sometimes we see our faith here being lukewarm and not being that to inspire others to become Christians like us. We see St. Helen who was a good mom who inspired her child into the right road. And therefore, um, many of the things that were established by our great Constantine and Helen have, are being reversed or have already been reversed in our society. Uh, as we know, that God conquers everything and ultimately He is the victor. He is the Alpha and the Omega, as the book of Revelation says. And at the end, He will conquer the one who is conquering and will conquer, the, the book of Revelation says. And therefore, we should not be concerned. 
However, we should also be aware, though, that uh, we have a responsibility that has been given to us to be the ones who bear the church for the next generation to come. And therefore, uh, my good people of Holy Cross and all of Brooklyn um, are called today as we celebrate St. Constantine and Helen, not just simply going to Vespers and to divine liturgies, but to saying that I want my culture to reflect Jesus Christ, like St. Constantine and Helen. And we are here to call and build churches and establish, um, and establish uh, what needs to be done. So therefore, my good people, as we celebrate St. Constantine and Helen, I pray that we're close to the church, close to the teachings of Jesus Christ, and uh, allowing our culture to reflect that of Jesus Christ.